So today I'm going to design the Facebook login page whilst discussing with you some basic principles in terms of designs. So one thing that I usually like to do, especially when designing, is I usually go to Google, then search for a design, just Google Android design uh, or iOS design. And let's start from there. Uh, I have a container here. Let's put a column there. Right, and this column is this is basically where all the items are going to be. And right, um, okay, then we'll go with container. This is just going to be a rough sketch, either ways. So, container usually I'll, I'll put height 100, but for the sake, uh, because I, I once told you about uh, you know making your applications responsive so if you want to check that out you can check the link it's somewhere on the screen right now and check how you can make your application responsive so if you want basically to make it responsive we are going to use media query that's the one which I use mostly so I'm just going to use it like that and say screen width uh, okay media query dot uh, of right uh, context right and context which means you need to be within the you know the build uh, function so that you can get the context for that then get the size then from the size you get the width that's the width of the screen of this phone right then you also do the same for height just copy that and say height here then here I'll just say height and that's perfect okay so basically you might want to just say this is just covering the whole height or the whole width etc either ways right that will be perfect so here what I'm going to say is Okay, so basically that's that. Okay, so the child of this container is the Facebook icon. Perfect, nice. That actually looks nice. So yeah, we are in the right direction. Okay, so it's a rough sketch. Obviously, this is not a blue container. It's, it is these hands, maybe it's an image, I, I'm not sure, but you know we are not focusing on that we are just trying to recreate okay, so after the container we have this text right? okay so the next thing they then put uh, text form fields okay Okay, like that but as you can see it, it starts like at the center of the screen usually what you'd want to do maybe is just use one padding then put all the other items in a container so that you don't necessarily have to put padding for for each and every one of them right so I'll just wrap this in a column such that whatever I put in this column will just have that same padding and it will be great like that right okay so perfect. It looks quite nice, I think. It looks quite you know, it looks quite nice. I think we're getting there, right? Okay, so obviously these have to have controllers for 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 the text. Um, I think this will we'll discuss in other tutorials, but in this one, I just want to show you the design, you know, just to, for you to see how, you know, I come up myself with the design, like thought processes for, for all my applications, right? So obviously, especially like for, for things like the passwords, you have to then put up scale, um, is it in decoration? I, I don't think it's in decoration. Okay. Obscure text, then you say true. Obscure text is basically like, you know, making making it uh, for it not to show the uh, for it not to show the 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 characters inside the password field. So 
basically like that. But this will concentrate more on it when we now discuss text form fields, right? Okay, so basically the next thing is now a login. Usually what I want to do with the login is first design a container, right? Um, th like the, the, the buttons themselves, right? The reason why I use the container is because, and I don't use a button, is because I kind of find it easier to just uh, like change you know like in terms of the design but people are different you can use the button there are many options for for that inside the uh, inside flutter so you can just use this right Next is a text. Uh, this obviously is the text for um, forgot password. I'm not creating containers for or, or like uh, widgets for each one. Each one of them. I'm just trying to show you uh, the design process so that you can see and uh, so that you can, you know, start your design there. And the text is blue. Sorry, it's style, uh, text style, color is blue. Okay, obviously this is uh, in a button, so you have to wrap this with a inkwell or something. Same thing with this more, but you know, we are going to be looking even this container again, you're going to be wrapping it with an inkwell. So basically this is, you know, when we now move on to the functionality. Uh, then there's that all. That all, what you can do is, Then the next will be a button, which is the same as this container. So just uh, take this container, then put it here. Basically, you need to just create widgets for these buttons, you know, just use the same widget uh, to call the button. But this is something I think we will discuss as we go. Facebook. Uh, account okay and the uh, color here is green perfect so as you can see uh, we have completed this application design and this is pretty great especially if you want to inspire yourself in terms of just how do I need to design or how can I design and, and things like that. So obviously this tutorial wasn't necessarily focusing on functionality like here where you, uh, this container. Of course, you can use a button, you can use uh, whichever like item you want, right? I'll just wrap it with the inkwell so that you see what I do. Basically, I do this. This is simply because I like using the container because you can change up many things from it. You know, you can change up the many, many of its properties. So I just like using them. Then you can just call the on tap here. Then once the person clicks on the, on the container or on the button, then it changes, right? We are going to focus obviously on these functionalities on, on specific like components maybe later but if you have any question for any of these components then drop them in the comments we many know. many sites there are many many sites where you can get some inspiration of how others design their applications and which uh, libraries they use to actually do that and the moment you do that you create a whole new spectrum because you now open your mind you are not closed all the time of course, you can do this, I think, in 10 minutes, uh, 5 minutes even. You can create this login page and you are done. And this is pretty great. And you can start your journey into creating your application. Drop your comments below for any 
questions that you might have concerning the design strategy and how you design your applications. Goodbye.